Ladies and gentlemen, we have a man. Every single person is back in tonight. One of the most beautiful cards they have added this year. We got Marco Royce, end of an era. And hopefully this is a card to mark him winning the Champions League. And we're going to get it completely free. If you guys are still stuck with a team like this and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Sky Coach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. Of course, we're going to look at the card first of all. We've got center forward, cam, striker, left mid. We all know that was going to be his positions available we've got some beautiful play styles plus and of course they've dropped the five star skills on him four star weak foot i feel like they might as well have just done five because it is going to be his last non-hero icon card but we've got a nice technical plus we've got flair we've got first touch we've got travella plus we've got quick step we've got finesse shot incisive pass i mean this is a crazy crazy card i might even complete him for the end of weekend league but let's have a look at what we need for him so of course there's going to be some tots requirements in there we know that already so team of the week or tots We've got a couple in there we've got some big big squads he is a big big player though it's one of them ones where although it's not good to see that much expense you don't really mind it it's royce it's a beautiful card i personally will definitely want to see him in my team going forward and we're going to see what we can do for him now they did drop a lot to make this a lot easier now off the bat we know we're going to need to get team of the weeks team of the seasons that's going to be a, a problem in itself now if you're starting from the bottom bottom of this those of you who have seen these videos before you know where we start you do your bronze your silver and your uh, your gold daily challenges which is these ones here if you have absolutely nothing that's the only way you can build from the bottom if you're starting with something you can skip this step but if you have nothing that's where you go first you complete those three SBCs. you only use commons for them the bronze rare and silver rares that you get spare you slot into the start of any icon of course we got the born legend and rising star that you can then get a tradable reward back from them it's not going to be a lot but it's going to be a good coin boost to help you in the next steps you then take your daily gold which is going to give you 44 gold players over to your upgrades and you want to complete the premium mixed league upgrade with this so a very nice set of sbcs here we got four sets we got one that you get for completing the set and essentially you get five packs two tradable three untradable and what you're going to get from this is a very decent contribution to just re-completing this sbc now you may have to put some coins in here that's okay because you will eventually get them out essentially by cycling this sbc selling everything from the tradable packs and putting everything that you get untradable back in you will consistently get more and more and eventually you're going to be getting more coins and packs than you're putting in and essentially it's unlimited packs and unlimited coins now if that explanation was a little bit too fast you want a bit more thorough i've got a link down in the description for a video that goes through that in full to give you guys the hand to do it your next step what we are going to do is first of all we're going to avoid the major leagues triple this one is not going to help us at all what we are going to look at however is the 83 times 10 we've got three of these available as always it's going to cost us an 80 free squad with a team of the week or a team of the season so what our next step will be is to go and get ourselves a team of the week because realistically very very easily done via the team of the week sbc it's not an expensive sbc to do you need an 85 or an 86 along with this team so let's just pop in an 85 see if that fits it might need an 86 with the squad i've got so we'll just we'll just do an 86 there's pretty much a negligible difference at this point so we've got a team of the week player pick who are we going to get anyone good I mean, Barnes isn't bad, but I, I'll be honest, at this point, I expect like an 88 out of these. I've got Donnarumma earlier, which is a 90. Just makes it really easy to do these squads. But let's go get our 83 times 10s completed because these are just going to be absolutely filth. Now, I'll pop one of these open just to see what they're going to be looking like. Now, bear in mind, I've got a load of packs in my store uh, or in my store, in my pack storage. Um, so it's not going to be easy to, to get those packs open. We'll have to head over to the web app. So we'll do that in a minute, but we'll quickly pop through this. So you're going to need basically a team of 82s, maybe an 83 or so, but very, very easily completed. Now, what you're going to get from this, obviously 83 times 10, there is no guarantee that you're getting anything above 83. Obviously, some 83 times tens we've seen it before at the end of the year when these are basically just unlimited you can get some stinkers but that's okay what you're usually going to get from an 83 times 10 aside from the team of the week or team of the season required you're basically going to get everything you need to go and complete one sbc what we'd hope for is a worse card being an 84 you're looking for a couple 88s 89 at best if we can get a team of the season lovely we're not expecting it but a lot of what you're going to get from there hopefully will contribute to maybe one squad of royce you know if we have a look at the squads here i would hope that maybe we're getting an 87 squad off the base of an 83 times 10 as a minimum that would be a lovely squad now let's see if we can open it off the bat i don't know if it's going to be in the store selection if it is great if not that's fine what you can do though you don't have to just straight away use the 83 times 10 to complete a squad what we could do is take whatever we get here and put it into a exchange packs and then use that see what we get out of the exchanges usually exchanges are pretty damn good now i believe that is an 85 is it an 85 
What have we got? Is that an 85 or have we been stunk out of it? Okay, 85. Not a great 83 times 10. I'll be dead honest. That's a pretty bad one. We've got 185, couple 84s. We've got some 83s. I've got some tradable stuff here. Okay, that's great, but really a bad pack to be honest. But what it has got us is, of course, an exchange pack. Now, because it's not enough to go out and go and get myself one of the SBCs completed, I'd obviously put this into exchanges to see what more we can get. So the exchange pack brings us couple commons, couple rares, which we can then go use to complete 82 plus picks. Now, if we were doing this SBC on the basis of literally just trying to get the highest rated, trying to get team of the seasons quickest, the route that I would always take is doing as many 82 pluses as possible. I personally would get 50 of these loaded up before you start doing the SBC because it's really, really easy to just get high fodder out of them. I would avoid the 82 major league doubles because although they are useful, a lot of the times what you're getting is duplicate untradables. Now with, with the player picks, at least you're getting the option of free players. What you might find is that three of them two of them are duplicates and the other one's trash yeah if it's a high rated duplicate you're going to take that but if it's an 84 duplicate or an 83 that you haven't got already just take the 83 it's easier to have in your club you don't have to go rummage around try and find a place to store it it's easier in my opinion to do it that way rather than just wasting a load of duplicates now what we're going to do next is we're obviously going to head over to the upgrade section have a look along here is there anything else other than the 83 times 10 that's going to help me right now i'll be honest i don't think there is i think the 85 major leagues triple upgrade is a bit of a dud i think that if you're going to do the prem tops upgrade anyway maybe do this now so that in the meantime obviously we get this done the chances are what i get out of here is probably going to be trash what i put into this isn't going to really uh sorry what i put get out of this isn't really going to benefit me a lot so what that means is the chances are what i do put in this and then what i get out at least what i get out is probably going to go into another SBC. so at least get this out of the way if you're going to do it anyway i know it's going to use some of the players that you might have wanted to use going forward into the royce SBC. but if you are going to do this if you're going to waste the players whatever you might as well get it done now so that at least you can see where you're standing what you've got you know if you get salah you know, Foden out of this. Yeah, they're probably not going into the Royce SBC. But if you get the likes of Allison, you know, that's an 85 tots that you can slot straight in. Now, what I would advise you to do if you're tight for coins and you want to help yourself out just with this Royce SBC, get the tradable team of the week upgrade done. You don't want to use this for Royce, but what you do want to do is sell whatever you get because basically this SBC costs, I think, 10k less than the cheapest inform. So if you get a good inform, you're making way more. If you get a medium inform, you're still getting a good contribution either to Royce or to your coin pool. So you're getting a cheap inform for the SBC or you're getting coins. If you sell that inform and then go on and do team of the week player picks, I think you can get two or three for the value of that inform. So it's a no brainer, absolutely worth doing. Now, if the Prem Tots is here, we're gonna open this now. If not, we're gonna have to head over to the web app. I don't believe it is. So that's a little bit of a bummer. What we will do, obviously, if you're doing exchange packs, you're gonna get a load of these packs here. So you're gonna get 27s, 27s, 19s, 7s, 59s, all these player packs. A lot of them, you will get walkouts out of. Now this one, a little bit stinky. We've got some 84s, a couple of players here, not great, but you can really use these to craft a ton of the 82 plus player picks it's what i'm doing a lot of if you're looking to get an ultimate tots and obviously i will of course be doing a video on how to guarantee one of those these packs are the smartest because they craft very easily if you do 10 player picks you get an 85 and 89 and 88 for example you know on a good set maybe you do 20 to get that if i'm being realistic what you do is you put all three of those players into exchanges and you pretty much got another 20 player picks out again just from those so it's a very easy recycle method now once the 82 pick is gone we're pretty stuffed in terms of what we can recycle right now. So I would say while it's here, get it used because it's not going to be here forever. So we're going to head over to the store. We're going to open my Prem Tots pack. Am I hopeful at all? I'll be honest. Do you know what I see happening, right? I, the, the, the most likely thing here, I get Salaba. Reason being, it would be a massive troll. We'll do the 84-7 because I feel like that's a, a, a good pack that a lot of us have been doing. That's a really good contribution to some exchange packs there. You can see exactly where these are going to go. That is one, two, three, four exchange packs and some good ones too. So I'm not complaining at all. But as I was saying, the reason I'm going to get Salaba here is because I bought Salaba at the peak of his price. I've paid a million coins for Salaba. He's now worth, I think, three or 400k. He's gone a lot down a ton. I put him in an Evo. So I lost. So basically, he got a mil coins. He went down to 500k. I thought, I'm not going to sell him because I've already lost 500. I then Evoed him. And at this point, I'd already had and sold Bizic, who is now worth a mil. So I'd already lost coins on him. So the biggest troll would be Salaba because I've untradeabled a tradable Salaba. Ah, oh, see, I didn't think, I didn't think. The biggest troll is Allison because he's absolutely useless. Look at that. Look at that. I've been trolled. But this is why you do this SBC first because that's going straight into Royce. And what you also need to do is make sure to subscribe so you can get future SBCs free, get some trading content and see me open loads of packs.